be sure to check out my Patreon for weekly exclusive interviews, extra content on VV and Omi, and building generational wealth, as well as money management tips from experienced whales. Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Cavell Anderson, and we're back with another VV and Ecomi video. And this one, we're going to be addressing some questions, comments, and stuff that we've been getting on some recent videos, man. You all have been wanting me to talk a little bit more about, um, I guess, some of my opinions on some things. And I am going to be getting back to the reactions and stuff and also educating myself because that's where I learn the most. This is stuff that I've been, this is the stuff that I've been seeing coming for the longest. I just feel like I haven't been here in a while. And a lot of people, like the morale is down in the community. And I mean, I want to talk about the things that I know is coming because I know a lot of people, it's easy to, it's easy to lose faith. It's easy to not really even have faith. Like somebody was just talking about how um, the prices of everything's dropped on VV, like how everything's going down and it's a, it's a shame. Like I just saw a comment like that. And, and honestly, that's just what happens. People never really believed in VV like they said they did. They were just happy that to see something going up and then they wanted to pretend like they were on board. But what you have in most communities is gonna be pretenders. People don't actually know what's coming. People can't actually anticipate what's coming. This is like, if, if it was easy to do this, if, if it was easy to invest, there would be a bunch of millionaire, trillionaire, billionaire investors. It's not easy. It's not easy for anyone to understand an investment, understand the future, and to be willing to wait the amount of time that's required. Like you have people out here talking about, oh, VV, this is a three to five year investment. What? What? What has ever revolutionized the world and took three to five years? Like what has ever changed the world as we know it, life as we know it forever and took three to five years. No, nothing done that quick is that impact. Like even crypto, crypto is at its early stages and, and its beginning stages. And it's still it's still nothing. And it's it's been 10 years plus in. Like it's it's not that easy to to change the world. So you have to really understand what, what's going on. You gotta take the time to educate yourself. And this is why I preach education. Like people can make it a meme all day long, but there's the educated and then there's the non-educated. If you, the more uneducated you are, the more likely you are to give up, have doubts and things like that. So you can sit here and think you know everything. I mean, it's human nature. People don't want to admit where they're wrong, but that's the reason that I'm so good at what I do and a lot of the content creators are as well because we constantly look to understand where our flaws are and understand the things that we're not knowing. Like, what is it that we're missing? That's what we put a lot of time into. And I do it full time. So I have the freedom to, to think and, and spend a lot of time in my thoughts. Unlike a lot of people, a lot of people don't have that luxury. So yeah, I, I guess I'm lucky to be in the position that I'm in. So yeah, we're going to be talking about some stuff. We're going to answer some questions. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe and turn on notifications. And let's jump into it, yo. So, and listen, I know that I'm not for everybody. I don't get on YouTube and attempt to be for everybody. I'm going to tell you it how it is. I'm not finna baby it, say it in a nice way so a lot of people can digest it. If you can't digest the stuff that I tell you or the stuff that I say to you, I'm just not for you. I am never going to change. You can sit here and, and code up, like bash me, say I create FUD. Like you can say whatever you want to say about me. It's never going to change me. So you can keep wasting your breath, probably end up blocked at some point if I just don't want to see you anymore. Or you can just move on, be a, be an adult, move on to somebody who who talks to you nicely and, and, and presents stuff the way that you want it presented. Like at the end of the day, every everything is not for everyone and investing is clearly not for everyone. Like, so yeah, that being said, um, the first um, question that uh, I wanna talk about is why is Vader and Todd so low? So when it comes down to Vivi and all the collectibles being low right now, NFTs are very speculative and people don't even know the value of NFTs, why NFTs are important. And I believe before entertainment, before the entertainment side of things become valuable, I believe the, in, the true NFT use cases are gonna become valuable, which is buying homes, buying vehicles, like buying things like this, buying things that require contracts, like ticketing, shows and stuff like that. NFTs are gonna become mainstream through, um, through, through the necessity of, of needing to, to, to work with them. People are gonna realize, oh, that this wasn't a scam this whole time. I was just investing in stupid stuff. Like, it's like, it's like having a, a, a well handcrafted sculpture right in front of you. And then somebody printed out a random piece of paper that they, that looked like a, a, a photocopy Sharpie picture or something like that. And somebody choosing to buy that just because somebody typed the word NFT on it as opposed to a perfectly beautifully handcrafted piece. It's like you're going to like anybody in the phys in the in real life would choose the the handcrafted one over the the crazy jpeg looking picture. But no, because they threw the term NFT around, 
the everybody made it a trend. Everybody made it cool. Like there was big and and people, um, rich people investing in it and stuff like that. Everybody just lost their common sense and just start throwing money at everything that looked like, oh, this is a this is an NFT. So I'm like, this is going to be valuable. Like that mindset is over with. I don't see that mindset ever coming back. Like NFTs are going to actually have to start bringing value, and that's when things are going to start going up. So this is why prices are down because we're not in a place where people are even educated on what an NFT is. Like you had so many people arguing with me last year talking about, oh, I understand NFTs. I get NFTs. You don't get nothing. You know how to transfer an NFT. You know how to buy an NFT and put it in a wallet. That does not make you an expert on what an NFT is. Like you don't understand why it's valuable. You just, un you're just trying to profit off of it. And you understand the ways that you can profit off of it in the moment. That's all it was. That's what people were using VV for. Now that people are able to get out of VV, they're getting out and they're, they're just le leaving and not coming back because they never actually had faith in VV. So you got to understand that like this is this is the majority of the people in the community this is the majority of, of the people in the world that's why there's a top one percent in the world as it is this is why the majority are not the top one percent <laughs> like that that's what it is um so yeah someone said um i get i get the utility but when will they start giving that utility so when it comes down to utility this is this is why i say be realistic with timelines. People expect in three to five years, that's the same amount of time that it takes to get a freaking coffee shop off the ground. And people are thinking that they're about to include NFT technology, crypto, and then like include, like work with the biggest brands in the world and, and make a metaverse. Like it's not realistic. That's not even realistic that we start seeing this stuff crazy soon. This is why I have a 10 year, this is why 10 years was my minimum. Everybody's talking about three to five years. This is why 10 years has always been my minimum because I understand the magnitude of what Vivi is trying to accomplish. Like, how do you sit here and listen to somebody say a year or plus ago, we're trying to build a metaverse like Ready Player One and you get three to five years from that. A company that does not have a strong development team, a company that has not proven that they can actually deliver this stuff. They have proven more today than they had back then. But I'm sitting here listening to them and based on what they're saying, it was pretty much common sense that this would take like 10, 10 plus years to really get to where it's going to go. Um, like, I don't understand how people come to the the conclusions that they draw, but th this is what happens. You you hear something that sounds nice to you and you 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 go with it, like with no, with no logical reasoning to it. And the thing is, because everyone agrees and everyone's on the same side, everyone's happy together. You think that it makes sense just because everyone agrees, but this is why I'm usually against the entire community or the majority of the community, because just because y'all all agree on something, I, I am 100% positive I know better. Like I know better than the majority of people. And it's just the amount of work I put in. I'm not the type of person that's gonna be influenced by groups of people and stuff like that. I'm going to do the research and I'm gonna really anal analyze in an unbiased way what really makes sense. That's what it is. That's why I can come to a $10 Omi prediction when everybody else can't even see it. Of course you can't see it. If you could see it, that would make you me. <laughs> and ain't nobody that. Nobody that, though. So, yeah. I mean, that's just what it is. Um, but, yeah. My man says, um, Justin. I mean, I think my man's out here trolling right now. But he said, I'm trying to remember another triple A app this clunky in the beginning. I'm struggling. And, I mean, we've had some ups and downs. But it's, it's, it's going to take a while. It's going to take forever to try and create something that's never been created before. There's no blueprint, no roadmap. It's going to be struggles. There's not even regulation. They're creating something that needs to be highly regulated, and there's no regulations whatsoever right now. So they're anticipating what regulations are going to look like and trying to develop around it. It's like they're doing stuff that's that's actually impossible. So I mean, business owners can see it and respect it, but if you're not if you're not into like the business world, if you haven't like done that, done anything like that, then you, you might not see it. It's, it might be difficult to see just how amazing this company is and the stuff that they're doing. Um, they make it look easy. And that's the thing. The average user or the average VV person is not going to get it. You're not supposed to. The reason that so many people are on VV and VV is so successful is because VV is idiot proof. You can download an app, put in some information and press a button to buy and press a button to sell. Like it's really, they, they, they really have dumbed this down so any moron can get it. So... You don't have to be the smartest person to be in this community. So I'm, I'm not surprised that a lot of people don't get this stuff and don't get it twisted. Like people say, oh, he always talking down to his subscribers and stuff like that. No, I'm not the smartest guy in the world. I'm just not lazy. I'm willing to put the time in, into understanding where I put my money at. I don't have money to be given away. I'm really from the trenches. I'm, I'm from the streets for real. 
So I don't have time to just be giving money away. I need to understand where every dollar is going. Like, what is this going into? Why is this going to be successful? I need to know this. Like, now, I'm not the smartest person in the world, but I'm not stupid enough to just give my money away. I don't have that luxury. I don't have a lot of it as it is. So that, that's just my mindset. Um, I, I know I know a lot of people privileged enough where they don't have to do the research, or they, they just blindly follow somebody else, but I could never follow some other man to to get my money up. That's just not something that I could do. That's why I don't have a boss as it is. I, that's why I'm self-employed and always have been. It's just, nah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't follow. So yeah. Um, and then, um, the, the last one here we're going to go over is somebody said Fixie being a millionaire is even more reason why pumping his bags on the backs of his following is ridiculous. Um, I mean, honestly, most people, pump themselves up on the backs of other people. That's how a lot of people become millionaires. It's not how all people become millionaires, but a lot of there's a lot of manipulation in becoming a millionaire and getting to that level. You're looking out for yourself. You're looking out for yourself a lot and you're stepping on the backs of a lot of people usually, um, unless you're actually providing something valuable. Um so the the like honestly the people who who got screwed over by Ray Fixie hundred percent deserved it. A hundred percent deserved it. Anybody who gets screwed over one hundred percent deserves it. And the reason for that is you blindly following some random guy, like just because he's a millionaire, just because he's successful, just because he's rich. Like what the hell has his millions done for you? Like that, that that's your problem right there. Just following somebody blindly because, oh, he likes Vivi. He says random stuff and he supports Vivi and he has a lot of money. What has he actually done to earn anybody's suspect of uh, respect? He says motivational shit on Twitter every now and again, but that's pretty much it. He's done nothing for this community. He's done nothing for anybody but himself. Like, yeah, he buys stuff from people, but that's what that's what people basically people are ho hoeing themselves out to him. Like, if, if they want to try to get rid of something, they'll go to they'll go to Ray Fixie and try to kiss the ring and try to see if he'll get him some money. And he's only going to do what's best for him, so he's going to give you a deal that's going to be shitty to begin with. So the fact that so many people are following the things that he does. I mean, it's just stupid to begin with. That's that's a personal decision. And it's like, you have nobody to blame but yourself. So, I mean, I don't think that, I, I, I'm not gonna blame him for using stupid people. Like, why Like why put yourself in that position in the first place? You you should be better than that yourself. Um, let me see. Um, is that what he has to do to make money? Buying gems for half off? It's something to do when you have money. He's using the same tactics that a desperate broke person would use. Um, how do you think a lot of these broke people go from broke to rich? Like, that's what that's what happened. And honestly, if you have a choice between buying, um, if you have a choice between spending $50 and, that, and instantly turning that $50 into $100, what type of idiot wouldn't take that? Like, if, if, if somebody told you right now, give me $50 and I'll give you $100 in return. You got to be all types of stupid not to take that. It wasn't breaking no rules. It was going to, it wasn't going against the terms of service, nothing. So the fact that VV was allowing that, I mean, it is what it is. Like that's just called doing good business. Like I don't, I, I honestly don't know any whale, any whale that I know that that's, that was paying full price for gems. Like it's just logical. Like, and that's, what's crazy. The people with the big money, those are the ones taking advantage of those type of deals and stuff like that. Because they're not finna waste their money. If if this is allowed and they have the they have the means to do it, they have they're gonna have the connections and resources, they're gonna do it. Like it's allowed. Like why wouldn't they do it? So um yeah, like that's just that bro, that honest that like certain mindset is it's not even being honest because I don't think that that's being disingenuous, doing like getting a better price, getting a better rate for what you're doing. I think that it's just certain mindsets really stop growth. It stops growth and stops potential. Um, the, the gems were on sale for a better price. I know a lot of people was mad at that, but you should have jumped in on it. You should have been buying them. Like that was, that was your fault. If you didn't choose to do it, if you didn't, maybe you didn't have a connection. Maybe you didn't know how to do it. Maybe you didn't know if it was safe. I mean, this is why you take the time to educate yourself. Like this, this is why that's important. Um, listen, there was a point in time where you could have literally just made money. Like, cause right now we have the cash out feature, which means if you would have, if Jones was at 0.5 and you would have spent $10,000, that means you just doubled your money. So without investing in shit, you just doubled up on your money right now because now you can cash out and then you got more money than you put in. Who wouldn't do that? Like, 
you 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 walking into an automatic 2x you didn't even have to invest in a freaking like they was giving away money like that's what they were doing because they were too stupid to know that vv was going to have a cash out so people thought that it was it's a scam it's this is that i want to get my money out like the opportunities man like in life there's going to be a lot of opportunities you miss because you're too late to it you don't take the time like this is people ask why i think so far for it all the time this is why I don't care about what's going on right now. Right now is not the opportunity. The opportunity is where, where, where we're going to go in the future. And I want to be in position for where we are in the future. I'm positioning myself today for, for, for where we are then. Anybody right here trying to position themselves today for something that's going on today, I mean, you're already behind. Like the chances of you actually getting yourself in a crazy position right now today, very slim. So why go for that? The thing is, I've spent a lot of my life making that same mistake. So I've grown past that. So... Listen, people just got to start taking the time to really think things through and take the time to really understand what it takes to be an investor, what it takes to be in business. You, you need to understand what this world really is like. I understand that we're not taught this stuff in school. It, we, we're, trained, we're trained to listen to bosses and stuff like that and not be able to even critically think for ourselves. It's not easy to break that, that cycle. It's not easy to break that way of thinking. It's not easy to forget everything that you've been taught and relearn how the world really is but it's very beneficial if you take the time to do it um this is why so many people won't relate to me like you can't talk like me you can't say what you really want to say how you really want to say it you have to be you have to care about how people feel how people are going to perceive it how people like you can't just be you we live in a society where people who people are gets lost why do you think there's so much depression and stuff people don't know who they are they have to be what the world wants them to be this is why I do whatever the hell I want to do. Like this, this is exactly why I do this. And I mean, I'm, I'm going to always be this way. Um, I'm going to become insanely rich doing it, or I'm going to become insanely broke. And I already been broke. So it's only one way that I'm going to continue to grind. Cause like, listen, it's been working out for me. So I, I'm, I'm going to stay on, I'm going to stay on the course. So that being said, just, just take the time to educate yourself. And stop falling for all the, oh, stop falling for what other people say, man. So other people say what other people do. Stop following people. Follow you. Believe in you. Like, honestly, if you want to become successful and change your life, you are enough. Like, why? Like, <clears throat> there's nobody you will ever be able to believe in more than you can believe in yourself. And if you can't believe in yourself, then there's no way in hell you believe in somebody else. So everything in your life starts with you. So, yeah. There we have it. That's pretty much it, y'all. Let me know what you think. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Peace out, fam.